Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, kids, boys and girls. Brett Wheeler here, and I am on my way to round five of the Portuguese nationals in Taruca. It's uh, going to take you along for the journey of the weekend. It's one of the best tracks of the year. I've raced here a few times. It's a Category 2 UCI race, so there might be some big names or some fast riders here trying to get UCI points. Uh, it's the final round, so hopefully we rack up the championship in good position. Fifth at the minute, and yeah, come along for the ride and document the weekend. Enjoy. I just arrived here. One of the best things about this track, the start hut and the view. Just have a look. This is where we start. Absolutely stunning. Go for a little track walk, see what it's about, see what's changed. It's a super fast track with a lot of rocks. Lucky it's like grip tape rock. And the dirt is good, but there's a lot of sneaky stuff. Like this rock here, it will just destroy wheels, tires, and rims. Marshall's on our way down. It's always a tricky bit. Pretty steep, big rocks. And there is an option to double this two steps, but if you don't jump it, there's a severe compression. The problem is the run up to this. It is savage. I have to try options. There's also a sneaky line over there on the right. What would Cafro do? Another fast section, but it's tricky. A few little uh, challenging rocks to get coming super fast if you can see if you got hot these rocks then you get mass compression to this beast of a rock to then gap over that rock some off camera rocks good thing about here like i said this rock is like grip tape love about the portuguese tracks they make their road gap jumps Look pretty. It's pretty high jump. Gap down into there. Real fast burn at the exit. There's plenty of them. See, you go out, you come down the middle, then off these drops into the rocks. There's a slight line over here to the right. This is a fast bit with a big quad. Come absolutely hauling down this hill. And the takeoff is literally like nothing. The gap must be you know, 40 foot. At this point, hopefully, it's over there. Most people will probably double double. But I think I'm going to go first run quad. What I love about the Portuguese is how relaxed it is. Time is. 9.26. Practice started at 9 o'clock. Seen two riders on track. Pretty rad lines coming up. Let's take the top. You can set up for this drop to inside. Pretty, pretty harsh landing, awkward burn, and a massive straight out. I'm thinking. You can absolutely rail this berm, get on the pedals. You carry so much more speed along that next section. Oh, you good? Filming! <laughs> Primera vez! <laughs> it's pretty interesting. It's like big berm. Another massive berm. Obviously the main line. You see there's like a skid mark in the middle. But I think the key is try and get up on that bank as high as possible, literally below that tree and drop down. Oh, just as I said that, mate, you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> this has got to be the utmost scrub jump of the year. Oh! 
this is the finish. Nice jump, the scrub jump. Nice one out into the crowd. So we're signed on, registered. I'm running 47 this year, my first year back in the league. On the Starling Stern. The Odins. There should be an Odins there, but unfortunately I had an issue this week, so I've had to run the spare one. Um, single speed, if you didn't know. Jack drive. Uh, just one gear, no derailleur. This is the bike I've been running all year. We're going to send it. Run of this beautiful track. See what it's about. <laughs> Try and miss all the rocks. I like my rows and tires. Little gap. Oh, this. Lines. That is the line that mate just took. Gnarly's got to rock. Oh, good line. And we're ready. Practice 
done, now for a bit of bike prep with the Muckoff products and get her ready for tomorrow. All the muck off stuff, obviously wash, dish brake cleaner, protection, silicon shine, lube for the chain. Um, it's also been informed that there's going to be a bit of a storm hitting, so tomorrow it should be wet. So we're sticking the mud hugger on right now, then it's all done for tomorrow, but the bike is ready. Uh, good night's sleep, and we've woken up to the weather they said we're going to get. Track should be good though, it's a good dirt, like a gritty sand, so it should ride pretty good. Practice in a minute, see how it gets on. Driving to the top of the hill, and the conditions are not like yesterday. Sitting on the back of the van like these guys, this is going to be good, but still going to have fun, the track's going to be good. Let's have it. Let's see what the rain's done. It's been slick on the rocks. Hey. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's a bit mucky in here. done a race day just getting the bike ready it looked like i'm ready to go hunting the weather has turned pretty bad it's raining from start to finish um the track's running really good the dirt here is amazing it's like gritty sand so with a bit of rain it actually turns more grippy the rocks are a bit slippery but it's good so yeah just prepping the bike get it all ready and qualifying it is at 12 o'clock so hopefully have a good qualifying run and then race on in the afternoon. Conditions get a bit wet and minging like today. It's a tough choice on goggles. There's two options, you're gonna have a roll off or a tear off. Our melon luckily do a good roll off system. Um, for days like this, I think will be best. But obviously with a tear off, you pull it and you've got a clean vision. Whereas the roll off, you know, this bit could be filled with crap. You just And the vision's clean again, but obviously the, the view is a lot smaller. Um, but I think with the way the rain is being today, um, the roll off is gonna be the one. So we'll try it and qualify and see how it gets on. Last seeding, qualifying done. Let's go have a look how we did. Stoked on that, sixth place. There's some fast riders here with a super messy run. Um, just gonna clean it up, I can find at least five or six seconds to sort of keep the speed but the weather certainly ain't changing we'll have a good one send it in the finals well that's the race and finish with i ended up sick for elite today i'm very happy with that although a big mistake in the middle of the track washed out on a turn and went flying into the bushes uh pushed on for the rest of the run and four seconds quicker than qualifying but was just three seconds off third which is a bit more um, upsetting for me, but sixth, stoked on that. I've now got enough UCI points to race the World Cups if I want. Um, so I'm going to hopefully pursue that a bit next year. Um, just got to sort out those little mistakes in race runs. But all in all, great weekend at the Portuguese Downhill Nationals. That's, uh, I finished seventh overall. I missed one round, so I'm stoked on that. Um, that's good. Happy with that. And a massive thank you to all our supporters um, who helped the business and myself. And a big thank you to Taruka for putting on an amazing national. Uh, it's one of the best this year, one of the best tracks. If anyone wants to go practice there, it's a great place. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It shows what goes on. And if anyone wants to come out, Wheelers Mountain Bike Holidays, we can accommodate you and make you an epic trip. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy it.